Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of Camtasia version 2.1 for the Apple Mac. Now Camtasia is a screen capture program. You're actually watching a video that was completely captured and edited and exported with Camtasia 2.1 for Mac. And this first section of the video, I just want to show you a couple of the new features that are from their website. Now, what Camtasia is very quickly is a screen capture program. You can either capture your complete screen or portions of your screen and then you can perform various edits on it afterwards and then export a video file either for educational use or for upload to YouTube. It is entirely up to you where that video ends up. So let's have a very quick look at the website. You can see here that new in Camtasia 2.1 is the ability to do uh, green screening so you can record yourself uh, in front of a green screen. At the moment I'm just in my editing room, but I could be in front of a green screen. Then you can very easily key yourself out of the video and overlay your image on top of graphics. The second thing you can do is to change the clip speed of your videos. So if I was doing narration and I found that my particular clip I had needed to be a tiny bit longer, then Camtasia 2.1 adds that feature, which is really very cool. So what you can see now on your screen is the actual Camtasia 2 user interface. On the top left here, we can select various uh, changes we can make to our capture. I'll show you that in closer detail in a short while. Then we've got our main preview window, and then down below we've got our timeline. Now in the timeline at the moment is the first one minute and a half of this very video that you've been watching. And we've got my eyesight capture and the audio from my MacBook Air and also the desktop where I was showing you the new features in Camtasia version 2.1. Now if we concentrate on the top left hand area here and do bear in mind that all of the zooms and the effects you're seeing within this video were uh, achieved with Camtasia 2 so this gives you a good idea of what the software is capable of. So I've zoomed into this top left hand area to show you that if you click on media and then click on what you've already captured, it gives you a little preview window of your capture. And if I've captured more than one video, they will all appear underneath here. Then we've got the annotations tab, and it's in here that you can add things like titles, speech bubbles, and, and add some emphasis to your video. So for example, if I wanted to add a title, I would drag this down into my timeline. And here I've got the title I can change. So I can say here, Camtasia version, 2.1 and then I can click away and click back on my title and then I could move that into a better position. If I want to make changes to this I have to bring up the settings for my selection. So I do this by clicking the little cog wheel down here and here I can change the colour of my text perhaps to orange, perhaps I want to change it to aerial black so it's a bit bolder and I can make it maybe a little bit bigger. So this is emphasising that I'm actually looking at Camtasia version 2.1 then I could also add an arrow. I was talking to you about uh, the new features. So I could add an arrow in here and this points to the really great feature where you can do a green screen capture and remove the background on your video. And then as I play this back by clicking on the timeline and hit my spacebar, you'll see the various elements I've added appear on the video. So very easy to do and just, just super well laid out, such a great interface to use. Let's pop back to this top left hand corner and we can see some transitions. Now this would be if maybe you'd captured two video clips you can add a fade in and fade out between the clips or a rotate in and rotate out. And I think it's great that Camtasia have included these previews of the transition so you don't have to commit them to your video before you've actually seen what the effect's going to be. The same for animations, we've got various animations that we can add to our videos. The scale to fit absolutely awesome, scales up to 100% and we've got tilt left really great animations, you've probably seen these in other videos that people have produced and then we've got video effects so we've got colour adjustment so we can actually change the colour of uh, the capture that we've made or we've got device frame so it will actually put it into a MacBook Pro looks like there should we have a look at this one, let's see if we can get this one to work so we we'll scroll down, we've got our screen capture down here, let's drag a device frame down into this screen capture, we pop it about there, and then now when we're playing back, 
the capture that you can see playing back is actually within a frame of a MacBook Pro. How cool is that? Very, very decent and really good effect. So let's undo that and we'll pop back up to this left hand corner. So you can see you've got other ones here, colorized drop shadow reflection, sepia and clip speed as well. And then we've got audio effects uh, and these just change the audio only. So we've got like a clipping reduction, noise reduction, change the pitch, lower the volume, etc. And then we've got cursor effects so we can actually highlight when we're clicking on something. So uh, if for example, when I was moving this window around, I wanted to highlight where my cursor was, I would just drag one of these down into my timeline. This is a very easy to use interface. When you've finished creating your particular capture, you can share it on iTunes, screencast.com or YouTube, or you can do an export, an advanced export, where you choose the actual output format. I think Camtasia 2 is great for doing this sort of video, and it really allows you to create uh, intuitive, and very really cool instructional videos it's allowed me to demonstrate Camtasia Mac to you in this very video that you're watching now if you already own a previous version of Camtasia for Mac it's going to cost you £38 to upgrade to this latest version if you're buying it for the first time it's going to cost you £76.50 I think that's great value for money for what is a very useful screen capture application so thanks very much for watching please do click that like button please do subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.